I see barriers just being thrown up all the time every time I talk to small to medium enterprise owners about why are you doing what you're doing? Like, come on, seriously, like with, there's so much stuff out there that is actually really, really good. And, and construction gets a bad name for not being as innovative as it should be, but it is highly innovative. And, you know, I'd like to get your, I'd like to get some, some thoughts on that if you, if you don't mind, AJ. If there's an objection, I've heard it. <laughs> uh, over, over the last 10 years of working with different companies of all shapes and sizes uh, on, on their technology journey, we, we've heard just about every uh, objection that you could even think of. And, and a lot of times, yeah, the, the big ones are either I'm not good at tech or I, it's going to cost too much. And, and one of the things that, that people don't realize is, is software, especially the, 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 the applications that you're going to use as a smaller provider is a lot less expensive than you, than you probably think. It's, it's not like buying a new piece of equipment and it's, it's not even to the extent of, you know, hiring a new employee. We're, we're talking, it, it could be less than 10, less than 5,000 a year depending on what the software is and, and what you want to do with it. So these are, these are a lot lower investments than, than people tend to realize. And then, the, you know, the, the other side of the coin, I'm not good at tech. Well, you're typically the user. You use tech every day, most likely. It, it, it's very rare that you find someone that doesn't have a phone that already has apps on it, right? Or a, a tablet with apps on it as a user. You're typically the user, the administrator. That could be anyone. That could that could be the the intern you just hired out of college that actually knows how to administer that thing. And and again, um, depending on the the software, if you're diligent in how you select and what the requirements are that you're looking for, that administrative overhead could also be quite small. Right. And so what a lot of people tend to fear is, is the amount of time and money that needs to be invested to get this up and running. And, uh, and, and the, if they're taking a real good look and they're, 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 they're diligent on their requirements and what exactly it is they want to achieve, they can lower both of those investments pretty significantly. 